Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Edith Obonaya. I live at number seven, Yaya, below dear Papa. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank this God of choosing for making I and my family to become chosen. Thank you, Lord. Moderator, please, I want to sing. You want to what? I want to sing. Please sing. I've been enlisted for life in the army of the Lord. Though the fight may be long, yes, the struggle is at hand with a banner of love and that heavenly reward at the front of the battle you will find me. Yeah, the trump, trump, trumping of the arm, me, they try on routing, the warrior shouting. Yeah, the trump, trump, trumping of the arm, me, marching into victory. I mean, this army is glorious army, and the God of the battle will defend me. I mean, this army is glorious army. At the front of the battle, you will find me. Choose him, praise the Lord. Praise Amen. Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to thank this God of choosing for the grace he gave to me. First of all, when our daddy pronounced that five days, program before the workers meeting i made up my mind that sunday i am going to come that five days and i want to be coming from home i told god please give me the grace one i don't want to come late i want to come early and i don't want to miss any day and i want to be preaching in the bus early in the morning i want to preach in two buses early every morning and by the grace of God, God of choosing granted me that favor. Thank you, Lord. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Never knew that God was about to do something. So at the end of the, the last Thursday, after the, uh, we finished, and our daddy was praying. As he was praying, he was counseling. He said, he said it first time, and when he wanted to go, he repeated it again. I said, that excruciating stomach pain, I cancel it. That spirit of death, I cancel it. I, will, I claim it, I don't know what happened. So when we closed that Thursday, I became so nervous, like something has happened. I became so worried. I opened my phone, I saw uh, one of my neighbors that called me, and I called, him, called her back, I said, is anything happening in the compound? He said, no. But when I went home that day, I was surprised. I saw my husband at home. As I look at him, I, I said, what happened? I saw his face change everything. He said that it's only the God of choosing that saved him. That he would have died. That he was in the office. Immediately he entered the office and climbed up. As he wanted to sit down, he started experiencing very strong stomach pain, very serious. That he, before I know it, he lost his consciousness. Uh -huh. he, he was not understanding again. He now asked himself, Is he dead? He said, No, if you want to die, that he cannot die in his office. It will be a shameful thing. Let him go home. That was how he called the secretary. He said, I want to go home. He left the office and went home. As he went home, he said, Went straight to the bed and lie down. For hours, and people were knocking on the door, no way. They knocked on the doors for, uh, for hours. He couldn't get up and open the door. So by the grace of God, after a long period of time, it's like he was coming from somewhere. He now got himself, he realized himself, and stood up from the bed and went and opened the door. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I never knew that what our pastor was counseling for my was for my husband hmm. 
This God of choosing never allow my husband to die. Amen. He cancelled the death for him. Amen. He cancelled even the stomach bite because he said it was biting him as if he cannot, he, he will not live again the next second. And our pastor continued cancelling it. And by the grace of God, before I left here that Thursday, God of choosing took over everything. And that was how my husband became a living soul today. Shall we clap unto God and appreciate him? Thank you, Lord. So I have come to return all the thanks to the God of my pastor. The God of choosing that did not allow me. After that five days, I will go and mourn. The God of my pastor changed death to life. And today my husband is living. Amen. May stand be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to still thank this God of choosing for what he's doing for me. It was the day before yesterday as we went to shop. We shared our markets. He did everything. I never knew that cancel. They were coming. So surprising. They came with their vehicle. They passed in front of my shop. When they came down, I was surprised to see them. Instead of them packing my goods, they went further to other shops and packed their goods inside their vehicle. That was how we rushed and packed our own. And at the end of the day, they, never, they did not pick anything from my shop. Wow. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have come to return all the thanks to this God of my pastor for what he has been doing for me. All the mercies and the grace and the favor that has been shown to my family. I say may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. So if you are a chosen, be a chosen indeed. Correct. And stay put. And know what you are doing in this choosing. Serve this God righteously. In every way, is going to answer you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For this, I want to pray for my daddy, the Lord. I want to pray that this God that has given him this 10, threefold vision and 10 billion soul mandate will continue with him. Amen. I want to pray that the expectation of the righteous will never be cut off. That Amen. God of my pastor, the God of the chosen, will see my daddy through. Amen. From the beginning to the end. And at the end, our dad will paddle, paddle us all to kingdom, to heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for the chosen one. God will give us the grace to run this race judiciously. Amen. And on that day, we all shall meet in the kingdom of God. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Let's clap unto God and I'm